Welcome to my weblog. In this program series, we will be looking at residential solar electric technology. The amount of energy from the sun that falls on Earth's surface is enormous. It has been said that all the energy stored in Earth's reserves of coal, oil, and natural gas is matched by the energy from just 20 days of sunshine. Photovoltaic or solar electric technology converts sunlight directly into electricity. It works anytime the sun is shining. You're not going to need to understand the detailed physics of how solar electric technology works to understand its appeal. Investing in solar electric allows you to produce your own electricity with no noise and no air pollution. Solar electric technology is commonly referred to as the ultimate clean energy source for the 21st century. My first involvement with alternative energy was in 1995. I built a small house in the coastal mountains 20 miles north of Big Sur, California. The remote location eliminated the possibility of access to utility power. Development of my own independent renewable energy system was the only option, and that experience opened my consciousness to the viability of the technology. This video will first explain the very basics of three commonly applied solar electric systems. The three general types of photovoltaic or solar electric systems are utility grid intertide, utility grid intertide with battery backup, and off-grid. A grid intertie system allows you to make your own solar electricity and feed your excess back to the utility grid, basically using the grid as your storage bank. Here in Montana, Northwest Energy credits a homeowner's account for excess solar electricity produced. Your meter measures the electricity you use from the utility system, less the electricity your system puts back. This is called net metering. Living with a grid-connected solar electric system is essentially the same as living with grid power, except that some or all of your electricity you use comes from the sun. This same grid intertide system without batteries or generator backup will be in the dark when a utility power outage takes place. To keep your refrigerator, a well pump, or a computer running even when the utility power outages occur, installing a grid intertide system with battery backup is an option. Incorporating batteries into the system is more expensive but for many households that regularly experience utility outages or have critical electric loads, having a backup energy source can be important. Off-the-grid solar electric systems are common in remote locations, but they can work anywhere. Off-grid systems store on-site produced power and batteries. These systems provide all of the household's electricity and operate independently from the standard utility grid. No electric bills and no blackouts caused by utility power outages. An off-grid lifestyle is a choice or a necessity for a number of reasons. High cost of bringing utility lines to remote home sites, the desire to live independently, or the general reliability that these solar electric systems provide. Living within the limitations of an off-grid systems design means learning to make adjustments on when and how to conscientiously use electricity. In our next program about residential PV technology in Montana, we'll be looking in detail at some installations by Independent Power Systems, a local solar electric company here in Bozeman. Check back for these future programs, and thanks for taking the time to watch my blog. If you have an interesting project that you might want to document and share, or for more information about my construction background, contact me at peterqbrown.com.